Hey guys, Pastor Roger Hendrickson of God's Will Community Church in Yukon, Oklahoma. I just want to jump on just really quick and share a word that will completely change your prayer life, completely change the outcome of your prayers, and you will definitely see a difference in your life. And I want to look at Matthew 18, 18. I brought a message to the church about two Sundays ago on this uh, scripture, something that the Lord uh, showed me and spoke to me about. And uh, I tell you, ever since I started implementing this into my prayer life, it has totally changed my prayer life. It has totally changed the way that I pray. It has totally changed the way that I see my prayers being answered. So I want to share this with you. And I want to read just right quick in Matthew 18, 18. It says, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, you hear me talk a lot about deliverance ministry, uh, the casting out of unclean spirits. And I, I, this is something that the Lord had me start doing about two and a half years ago. And I have seen the spiritual realm of uh, things through truly my eyes have been open to it. I didn't used to believe in the deliverance ministry, the casting out of unclean spirits, especially for Christians. But God opened my eyes to it, and I have totally seen God do some amazing things in deliverance ministry. It has totally changed me. It has totally changed our church, the ministry that we do. And I've seen so many Christians be set free because of deliverance. Now, during deliverance, one of the things that I've noticed is as the Holy Spirit is leading me uh, in those deliverance sessions, one thing I've noticed is the Holy Spirit will have me bind those unclean spirits. As those unclean spirits are being cast out and removed, uh, the Holy Spirit will have me say, I bind all unclean spirits in the name of Jesus to come up and out, to be removed, to be cast away into the abyss bind in the name of Jesus, bind in the name of Jesus. So when I see this scripture here in Matthew 18, 18, I know about the binding part. I know about the binding part because I've seen the Holy Spirit uh, speak through me and, and show me to say those things. I bind all unclean spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind them in the name of Jesus to be cast out, to be removed. So the binding came easy for me because I seen it firsthand uh, what, the, what the Lord was doing with that binding and casting out. But the second part of this scripture talks about loosing the spirits. And this is where I didn't understand. I didn't understand about loosing the spirits. And then the Lord showed me and the Lord began to open my eyes to this second part of this scripture. You know, guys, when we talk about unclean spirits, some of the things that we think about, we think of the spirit of fear, we think of uh, the spirit of anger, the spirit of suicide, lust, anxiety, depression. Uh, these are some of the uh, spirits that uh, we talk about when we talk about unclean spirits. Um, and lust, uh, pornography, uh, these types of things. It's a, it's a spirit. It's a spirit that has to be bound and removed. So if we're going to loose spirits, this is what the Lord showed me. That, guys, every day we ought to be praying, praying for ourselves, praying for our families, our loved ones, our homes, our church families, our, our friends. We ought, we ought to be praying in Jesus' name, binding those unclean spirits to be removed and be cast out of our loved ones, our homes, and, and, and these types of things. But you know what, guys? The second part of that is once we do that, we need to loose spirits. So when, when we, now here's where the Lord showed me. When we think about the Lord, what kind of spirits do we think about? Yes, we think of the Holy Spirit, first of all. But what are some of the characteristics that we have of the spirit uh, of following Jesus Christ? Well, a spirit of joy, peace, unity, abundance, the life, the health, good health, healing. These are the things that 
the characteristics of God. And so the Lord showed me that when we go in prayer, guys, we ought to be binding these unclean spirits that have come against us in our homes, in our families, our health, our finances, all these things that was sent on assignment, guys. These unclean spirits were sent on assignment from Satan. They were sent on assignment to come to kill, to steal, and to, to destroy our health, our marriages, our homes, our finances, our, our kids, all these things, our businesses, even the church, church splits, all these things. We ought to be binding every day in the name of Jesus, binding these unclean spirits and breaking their assignment off of us, our families, our loved ones, our church, our homes, our finances, our health, all these things. Break their assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Bind all of those unclean spirits and remove them and let them know that they're that there is no more, that they are no longer having an assignment towards you and anybody that you prayed for because you broke those assignments of those unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. You, you broke those assignments that they were sent to destroy in your life, in your home, in your marriage, all these things. You broke those in the name of Jesus. You bound, you bound those spirits in the name of Jesus. You, you bind them and you remove them. Then you loose the spirits of God upon you and your family and your finances and your home. All these things. In Jesus' name, you pray that God would release the spirit of abundance upon you. The spirit of abundance upon your finances. The spirit of abundance upon your marriage. The spirit, the spirit of joy in your heart. Health. Healing for you and your loved ones. Start speaking those things of God upon you and your home and your marriage, your business, your workplace, whatever it is. Every, every, every aspect of your life. Guys, I'm telling you right now, I am telling you right now that while you're praying, while you pray, go into prayer and bind every unclean spirit that come against you and your family in all those areas of your life. You bind them in the name of Jesus. You break their assignment. You cast them out. And then you loose the spirits of God upon you, your family, and all those areas of your life. And I'll tell, tell you something else you can do that I, that I do in prayer. Speak life. Guys, speak life through Jesus Christ. While you're praying, speak life over your finances speak life over your marriage speak life over your home speak life over your church speak life over your kids speak life guys speak life once again in the name of Jesus over every aspect of your life guys I promise you that if you begin to do these things you will see a difference you will see answered prayers like you've never seen before so this is something that the Lord has just you know, guys, I, I didn't used to believe all this. You know, I was, I, I had a spirit of religion in me that had to be removed in deliverance because of my teachings, because of what I was brought up in and trained under uh, in ministry work. I didn't believe any of this stuff, but man, I, you know, I, the Lord opened my eyes to it. Uh, God delivered me of a spirit of religion has totally opened my eyes to the spiritual realm of things. And I am telling you guys, this stuff is real. It works. It's true. And so try it. Do it. I encourage you. I encourage you to bind in the name of Jesus, to cast all those unclean spirits, to break those assignments that they've been sent to destroy, and then loose the spirits of God upon you and your loved ones in every aspect of your life, the spirit of abundance, like I said, health, joy, peace, unity, all that love, all that stuff. Do it in the name of Jesus, guys, I tell you, and then speak life. Speak life over every aspect of your life. Speak life into it in the name of Jesus. And I guarantee you, you'll see a difference in your prayer life. So guys, I just wanna jump on and share that with you. You can, listen, you can go to Facebook, God's Will Community Church on Facebook, like and follow. You can see that whole message on binding and loose, bind and loose. You can watch it right there. You'll have a great day and be blessed.